Now you all might be wondering what happened. Well, let me explain. For STEM week, Mr. Gopi <laughs> showed us how to make an alcohol rocket. An alcohol rocket is the result of a chemical reaction between the mixture of air and alcohol. In this case, we are using ethanol and heat. This reaction occurs very quickly due to the heating of the exhaust gases, causing high pressures in the bottle and making it fly. The equation behind this reaction is C2H5O2 plus O2 will produce CO2 and H2O. Basically, the heat causes the ethanol to vaporize and increases the pressures inside the bottle whilst combustion happens. The vaporized alcohol will then shoot out of the hole from the bottle cap, releasing carbon dioxide and water. Newton's third law explains how the thrust produced by gas pushed out of the bottle is larger than the weight of the bottle itself. It will then accelerate upwards. To do this experiment, you'll be needing a plastic bottle, ethanol, scissors, a beaker, and a lighter. The first thing you need to do is to poke a hole in the bottle's cap, then fill the bottle with about 30 to 50 milliliters of ethanol, and shake the ethanol inside the bottle, and then empty the excess ethanol into the beaker. Place the bottle horizontally with the bottle cap facing towards you, then light the bottle through the hole of the bottle cap. Watch your rocket fly. There are a few factors, however, that affect the reaction, like the size of the bottle and the concentration of the ethanol. We used a variety of concentrations in this experiment. Some reactions work perfectly with the bottle still intact, some not at all. Okay, failure. We try later. Okay, next bottle. And some a little too well. So this one, okay, you see the pressure is lower, uh, pressure is quite high, okay? okay. And then higher alcohol concentration. I'll just say the 